Well, many of us are excited to head out on family vacations for Christmas, but with that excitement comes some anxiety and an important decision. What do you do about your dogs? Do you leave them or do you bring them with you? Well, pet expert Harrison Forbes is here to let us know what we need to know before we hit the road. That's Good morning. Right. Good and morning. You, you say 75% of the time the best thing to do is to leave the animal well, at the house. Well, it's, it's a should he stay or should he go? And that's the question. And, you know, our egos as dog owners, we want to say, oh, Fido can't live 10 minutes without me. I'm right. going to take him with me. But the truth is, most of the times, dogs do better in their own environment. They really thrive on schedule and consistency. So if the only variable is you being gone, although it kind of hurts our ego a little bit, yeah. usually it's the best thing to do to have a house sitter or somebody to come by and do some pet walking. That makes sense. Yeah, so we've got for that... This is a GPS tracker. The dog has one, okay. one right here. And not only does this have a GPS feature, like if you did take your dog with you and they got loose or ran away or the hotel uh, maid service accidentally opened the door, but I'll tell you something that personally happened to me at Thanksgiving this year. Uh, I had a house sitter, but not my normal one. Mm -hmm. This has also activity tracking. So every day I get a chart that shows the flow of activity, like a pedometer for your right. pet. Huh. And so I noticed after the first two days, there was hardly a spike in there. And I, I knew what it was supposed to look like if the dogs were really being walked. And I'm paying somebody to walk the dogs three times a so day. So there you go. It's, it's, a, it's right. a money saver. So we were able to call and find out that she was not, in fact, showing up on time and doing that. Doing so we're able to fix to that. So what is that? So now with crates, a lot of mistakes are made when you're going to travel with your pet. This is a wire crate. It also collapses down. This is great for travel. You can put it in your car and for your home. But this is not for airline travel. If you get to the airport and bring your dog in this, you will not be able to go. Okay. So it's important to know the differences. This is airline approved, and this also comes apart. So, you know, Check with the airlines about the different rules. Different airlines have different right. rules about sizes and weights and such. Wh whether you can bring a pink one on or not. What's this? A thunder shirt. This is a thunder shirt. So this is an anti-anxiety compression shirt. And so a lot of dogs, whether they're riding in the car, traveling, or even staying at home with some separation anxiety, the thunder shirt, we've got one, a nice pink one on this dog here. Okay. But it's a compression sure. shirt. The technology was uh, started for autistic children where they found when they were swaddled tightly, okay. it really helped reduce anxiety. And about four. $40. It was about $40. And this is a weird looking item. What does this do? This is autograss. And this okay. is a neat little thing. You know when you're driving in the car with your dog and they're always standing on the armrest. They're trying to jump in the front squirmy, seat. Squirmy. They can jump. It's distracted driving. It's dangerous. This little item here, it doesn't hurt their feet, but it's uncomfortable for them to stand on. Oh. So it sits... And so when they down, see the grass, so they're going to relieve themselves. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> but they don't want to stand on it, and so it keeps them from coming over in huh. the front seat. Okay. That's and something finally, from what is that? This is a booster seat. Huh. So a lot of times, especially when you have small dogs and you want them to ride in the car with you, they're jumping up on the side of the car, they're scratching the windows. They want to see out. They want to see what's going on in the world. Right. So this booster seat hangs from the front seat. It allows for the dog to have all four feet down where Very they can smart. really see out, and it keeps it up off the seat where it doesn't engage the uh, airbag. So very quickly, these dogs are all up for adoption. These are Some all up for adoption. Awesome. Sarah the Spaniel, how can people adopt these dogs do so? These are all from the Humane Society in New York, and we really appreciate them coming out today and bringing these dogs. Uh, Petco has donated these crates to go along with these dogs for their new families, as well as the collars right. and everything we see here. Okay. Come on, Fox and Friends. We can get all these That's dogs right. adopted We're... easy. Come on. Hit oh, us up. Friends at foxnews.com.